Every so often a film comes along that encapsulates what the movie going experience is all about. Movies that have terrific stories and characters you want to spend a lifetime with. Music that withstands the test of time. I'm of course referring to films like Jaws, The Matrix, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Jurassic Park, and of course Fifty Shades of Grey. With its torrid love affair, interesting cast, and rippling abs, I can watch that movie over and over again. <laughs> okay. I'm obviously being sarcastic on the last one, but Jurassic Park does fit the bill. The sequels, not so much. Today we're going to look back on the best and worst of the franchise, starting with the bottom, the heap of them all, on movie feuds. Hang on to your butts. The Lost World's bad. It's a really awful follow-up to the first film that captures none of the magic and a tiny bit of the fear. Even worse is they tack on an unlikable daughter that he apparently has. And unlikable is really the key word here because that uh, fits the bill for every person in the movie. Julian Moore, who I typically like, is full-blown idiotic here. She's supposed to be the smart scientist, yet she gets dinosaur pheromones covered on her and doesn't realize that that's attracting the scent of the other dinosaurs. Even though earlier in the movie she points that exact same thing out. I wanted them all to die before we even hit the really stupid stuff. Like fighting a raptor with gymnastics. <laughs> or stealing a baby dinosaur. What the fuck? Why? Why would you take a baby T-Rex? I don't give a shit if its leg is hurt. Fucking shoot the thing in the head and move on with your day. This is ridiculous. Granted, it set up one of the coolest scenes in Jurassic Park history, which is the mom and dad T-Rex gang-banging this, uh, whatever, all-terrain vehicle, this mobile home that goes off the side of the edge. Julianne Moore, whoosh, Mortal Kombat's into a side of the glass, cracking around her spider glass scene. You're just hanging on to the edge of your seat. You're like, come on, come on, fall to your death. Kill her, kill, ah, oh, they saved her. Still a great scene. Then there's the dumb final act that some people for some reason like, where the T-Rex goes full on King Kong. She roams the streets, <laughs> eating stoplights and killing dogs. Somehow she escaped from her holding cell on the ship just to kill all the men around, then sneak back down, shutting the padlock behind her with her little claw hands or something. <laughs> I, I don't know what she did. Clever gal, no full-blown retarded. There are one or two other cool parts where they're going on their little safari hunting trip and when the raptors are sifting through the weeds, picking guys off left and right, him and him, but really it's just a total cash grab that doesn't need to exist and I wish it didn't. Make no mistake, I have the same amount of disdain for Jurassic Park 3 as I have for J Park 2. The only difference is it's a half hour shorter. The pain goes away faster. Some crap from two trickles into three. Amazingly stupid character decisions, like stealing a dinosaur egg. Once more an unlikable cast with Tay Leone and William H. Macy playing a divorce couple. Half of the movie is just listening to these two dipshits argue with each other and yell out for their kid. Sam Neill's wandering the woods, wondering how the hell he managed to get signed on for this third trip, when he clearly made the right decision passing on the second one. The raptors get a good portion of screen time and there's not one but two neck snaps by dinosaurs, which is just absurdly awesome. The way the pterodactyl slowly turns around is enough reason to watch Jurassic Park 3. Bankin, can we show a clip on that? Your name is Bankin. This is a solid step in the right direction. Not only does it pay tribute to the first movie, but it also has its own likable cast, good story, and great action. You can argue it follows the playbook a bit too closely to the original with two kids, a man and woman with an awkward relationship, and a nerdy computer technician, but at least none of them busts out into a triple axle to kick a raptor out a window. There are plenty of illogical parts and an overabundance of CGI. Even the birds are computer generated. Thrills more than make up for the missteps, and that final battle between the hybrid and the fan favorite is worth the price of admission. 
Call me biased. Right now, you son of a bitch, because I am. Jurassic Park will always be the top dinosaur film. I don't care what comes next. I don't care! I saw this movie at the tender age of eight in theaters. I was blown the hell away. I saw it two more times in theaters. I dragged my parents out. And then I watched it probably a dozen more on VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, digital, blah, 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 blah. It is an amazing movie. It's in a top 10 for me. For sure, it's one of Spielberg's best. Not only were the dinosaurs incredible to see, but the humans were equally enjoyable. There are so many nostalgic moments from the first time seeing the T-Rex in the pouring rain as he engulfs a man on the john, the incredible and scary raptors stalking their prey in the kitchen, Newman dying in a horrific way by that awesome dinosaur that goes and shoots that spit, that fucking venom at him, and then a girl. A young girl that for some reason knows the inner workings of an advanced park security system is able to hack it in a matter of seconds. And it all works. It all works. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I spared no expense coming up with my list and I suggest you do the same. Did you like the 2015 version or did it fall harder than a tranked out Triceratops? Let me know in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to Feud Nation because you like what I'm doing here and maybe support me on Patreon. I'm a one-man army right now, and I probably always will be. More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. I can't decide if a dinosaur army is the dumbest thing I've ever heard or the coolest thing I've ever heard. Guess we'll find out in the next couple films. It's gonna freaking happen.